Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ime, I am from Argentina and I am currently living in Paris. On this trip, I am lucky enough to take you with me to discover a little piece of my country. So if you want to know more about Argentina, stick around. After bidding farewell to Uruguay with the trophy in hand, we embarked on our journey to Argentina. We arrived to Buenos Aires and, and then we took a flight to Salta. Once we arrived in Salta, we rented the car and set off on the wine route. So our first official destination is Cachi. I had been to Kachi as a teenager and coming back as an adult was a completely different and 100% recommended experience. From the selection of our boutique hotel, the season and of course the cuisine, everything was amazing. Living in France, one of the things I miss the most besides my family of course is my food. So as soon as we arrived in Kachi, I took a shower, I got dressed and we went out in search of empanadas. It was mid-afternoon, so it was neither lunch nor dinner time. So we decided to have a merienda, empanadas with lemonade in Viracocha, a place that I truly recommend if you visit Cachi. The quinoa empanadas were 10. After a bit of sizing, we were a little bit tired, so we decided to go back to the hotel and have dinner there and it was a very good choice because the food was delicious. In the morning after well rest, we took advantage of the sunshine, regretting having to leave so soon. The place is so peaceful and beautiful that we could easily spend a week there. Unfortunately, we didn't have so many days, so we were grateful for having spent at least one night in Gachi. But personally, if I had to come back, I would definitely stay for at least two nights.
In Molinos, we only went for a walk around the town and had lunch at this hacienda and the food was delicious. Personally, I wouldn't choose Molinos to spend the night, but rather to explore during the day and move on. Morning all, we are going to our next destination, Colombia. So, we'll see you there. Close to Molinos is Colombia, which is another small town where around 100 families live. I estimate that most of them work for the Estancia Colomé, which is a well-known winery that has a unique landscape and one of the five James Turrell Light Museums. Everyone recommended this place to me, so I was really eager to visit. If I am not mistaken, the hacienda has nine rooms, all with a view of the vineyards and the scenery is just amazing. As you can see, my room is beautiful. And the best part, wait for it, is this giant balcony with this stunning view. Once again, I was regretting already not spending at least three days at Estancia Colomé. Anyways, we just wanted to enjoy to the maximum. So we had booked a wine testing scheduled for late afternoon, so we still had the rest of the day free. Since we've been eating and drinking since we arrived in South America, a little physical activity seems necessary. So to the gym, off we go. Going to the gym because we ate so much. Actually, we've been eating. Since we arrived to this side of the world, this is not gonna change everything, but at least we feel we, we are doing something good for ourselves. Done. This place. Ah, I can breathe. Oh my god, this place. I will try to. I will try to show you everything because this place is amazing. It is just incredible. You have to come. If you visit Salta, you have to come. I knew training in altitude wasn't a good idea. So after the effort, we deserve a reward, right? we spend the afternoon enjoying the view.
while we were waiting for our wine visit, we discovered this ping pong table. So here we are, more happy than kids. We booked the Colombia Experience, a program that included a winery visit, wine tasting, and then we went to visit the James Turrell Museum. Among the vineyards, you will find the only museum dedicated exclusively to the work of the prestigious American artist James Turrell. The light experience is enhanced by focusing on the interplay of space, light and time. This museum is placed at 2300 meters above the sea level, housing nine of Turrell's most important light works. The museum was designed by Turrell himself, And although we had an, an amazing experience, we weren't allowed to film or to take any pictures, yes. so it will be really for you to discover by yourself. <coughs> When you're back from the visit, you find yourself sitting under a starry I night mean, before uh, dinner, just drinking wine and the enjoying the music <coughs> and the charm of this place. It really doesn't get any better than this. We were really amazed by the fact that the state has an organic farm and also a garden where they work with the local producers of the area to give their guests the real flavors of the land while respecting and taking care of the environment. I can really say that staff and food were just amazing. Knowing that it was our last day in Colomé, we really decided to get the most of the day. We had a really nice surprise because Alfio, the sommelier of the state, showed up that morning to show us the first and original winery that has more than 100 years, if I am not wrong. I think Alfio realized my boyfriend is a wine lover, so it was a really special moment for us. Besides of the wine and the food and the gardens, you can also find horses and sheep because they are part of the winery. So it is a beautiful experience. If you want to stay disconnected of the world and just enjoy the beauty of nature. Sadly, we had to leave Hacienda Colombe behind to go to our next adventure. As we hit the road once again, our next destination is Cafayate. Dakar 23 va primero Isa Bertin con su copiloto Isa que no sirve para mucho pero bueno está aquí para cebar el mate ahí la última curva llegan My battery died, but as you have seen in the cutaways, we were stuck in a river. 
like stuck so badly and luckily someone helped us because it was such a mess. I will show you my feet. So after this adventure we were super tired and desperate to get a shower and luckily we had booked a nice hotel we were staying at Patio de Cafalote, very typical for my province, Salta, so it was really nice for my boyfriend to see something so traditional. In Cavallate we had two nights and three days, so a bit more of time to discover the city as it was bigger than Cachi, Molinos and Colomé. So we really took the time to relax and appreciate the landscape. But of course, one of the reasons to come here was also the wine. So there you go. The first stop is San Pedro de Yacuchula. Piacelli was another winery that we really wanted to visit because we heard about them a lot. So we did a wine tasting with this amazing sommelier that dedicated more than an hour to us, answering every single question that we had. And she was so kind and patient that we really want to go back and spend more time with her because she was amazing and we are gonna remember Piatelli as a very special place because of her and the wines of course. Barrica. 
but the day was apparently full of surprises because we also booked a table at the restaurant and suddenly we see familiar faces. And if you have watched my previous vlog, you have seen that we went to Uruguay because we had a wedding there. So guess what? We ran into the groom and his family in Cafayate. Probabilities, I don't know, zero maybe? But it was such a great surprise. Of course, we changed our tables and we shared an amazing meal together. And it was just so fun. After the unexpected experiences at Piatelli, we went to Bodegas El Porvenir. It's in the middle of the town, which I have never seen before. It really surprised me. And then we headed back to the hotel just to rest. December 24, Christmas Eve and our last day in the Calchaquí Valley. The experience has been amazing and we'll definitely come back with more time because there are so many things we still have to see and enjoy. We are now heading back to Salta to spend Christmas with my family. So I hope you enjoyed this trip as much as I did. And I will see you on the next one to show you around my hometown. Bye for now.